Hi everyone, this is Peter from Invent the Summer. One of our challenges this week is the scratch coding challenge. If you've never done scratch before, this may sound intimidating, but it's really not. Scratch is built for kids and makes coding really easy and fun. I'm going to give you a very quick demonstration, but be sure to check out the tutorials on scratch.mit.edu for more. Okay, so once you get to the Scratch homepage, if you don't already have an account, you're going to cl click Join Scratch and fill out all the following in information. And if you already have an account, just click Sign In, put in your username and password, and then you're in. Okay, so to make a project, you're going to click on this little folder in the corner. It's labeled My Stuff, and you're going to click Create a New Project. Over here is where you select your sprite. The sprite is the character that you'll be moving with the code. These blocks represent the code available to you. You will use the code to move your sprite. This middle section is your workspace. Okay, so now that we are inside the project, first thing we need to do is get a sprite. So you're going to go here, and you can click search, um, and just do, there's so many different sprites that you can do. I'm just going to do the ball right now. Um, if you want to, you can also paint your sprite, um, or you can download a sprite from the in internet, or I mean upload it. Um, so, um, if you look over here to the left of your screen, there's all of these different categories, and these are all, um, blocks of, of code, and this is what will put your project together. Right now, we're just going to do a really, sim uh, um, just a really simple little thing. So, pull out the when clicked in the events category. The when clicked, so this means anything under that will happen when this green flag is clicked. And then you're going to pull out a forever. The forever block is really important because if you don't use this forever, then it won't it won't really work because this is saying when it's clicked and like only when it's clicked. So anything under that will happen exactly when this is clicked and not after. The forever is when it's clicked. It'll do whatever is inside that even after. So then you're going to pull out this if blank then and put it inside the forever block. And that was in the control section. And then go to sensing and pull out the key pressed and change this to right arrow. And then come to motion up here, change x, which is the horizontal axis, by 10. So what this piece of script is saying is when this flag is clicked, if the right arrow key is pressed, then it will move 10 steps to the right. And then you can duplicate this by, um, if you have a mouse, right clicking and pulling it down and putting it directly under the if the last if then. If you don't have a mouse, then just um, two finger tap on, on your um, touchpad thing. First, we have to change this to left arrow. Right now, it's saying if you click the left arrow key, it'll also move 10 steps to the right. But that can't happen. We have to say negative 10 so that if the left arrow key is pressed, it'll move 10 steps to the left. Okay? So this whole sprite is, ju is just telling, or this whole script, I mean, is telling your sprite to move back and forth, right and left, if the arrow keys are pressed. Okay, so we're going to click the flag button to start it, because of the because this whole thing starts when this green flag is clicked. So click the green flag, and then when you click on the arrow keys, it'll move back and forth. There is so much more that you can do on Scratch. This was just a short tutorial. So um, to learn more, go up here to the top left, and there's a tutorials button. Click on that, and there's just a whole bunch of different things. Um, you can like select categories, or just there's a whole bunch of things you can do. I hope you enjoyed my demonstration. You can use Scratch for so much more than just moving a ball around. My favorite thing about Scratch is you can teach it to yourself just by experimenting and playing with it. You won't always get it right the first time, so just keep trying it until it works. It's important to remember. If you aren't making mistakes, you aren't learning. For lots of free online tutorials, go to scratch.mit.edu. If you want to check out my latest game, you'll find it in the link below this video. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks everyone. 
Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay engaged. Invent, 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 invent